Uh, yeah. Okay. So my intention for the call is to go through the agenda. There is four topics I'd like to uh, talk with you guys uh, and think. And yeah, uh, I don't I don't have any distraction, so I'll pass it to Ivy. Thanks, Zeb. So yeah, my intentions are the same as yours. I want to go through the agenda that you listed down here. And yeah, I don't have any distractions as well. So I pass it to you, Eduardo. Thank you. <laughs> um, distractions, none. There's a construction site next to my house. <laughs> but besides that, uh, nothing else. Um, and intentions is to check the, um, the goodbye document and, and just yeah, just have a nice one hour call. Back to you. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, okay, like, like the, the first thing I wanted to bring out today is I've, I've been thinking like, uh, what about having the audit as a live document instead of a regular thing? You know, I see like the pros could be uh, having constantly review and another pro it would be like it requires less humans working on it, which is always good, you know, like automatic processes. Hmm. And the cons I see that, the only cons I see, but might not be a cons at all, it's like maybe what if a working group do not update or, you know, like what if this process doesn't get followed? Like, you know, if it's a dream, if you have a schedule like to do it like every three months or so, I mean, you're making sure that this is happening, but if yeah. you have it, then if you don't have it, like maybe it's not happening and yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'll pass it to you, Edu. Sorry, I'm always interrupting. It's a bad habit of mine. Um, yeah, I think this is like, I have learned a lot from Tamara's way of doing things in, uh, you can see how many processes she has included in our organization. And most of these processes were not common for a lot of people yet. It's just the consistency of her made everyone sort of align under that process. So the audit process is the same. Like it could be different documents. It could be one document. It could be once a month, every two weeks. It doesn't matter. As long as you are consistent on it, people will follow it up. Um, and I think that a live document were like the same way the manifesto, like uh, first two pages, the first audit, then, you know, like in the, in the same document, having all the audits, just scrolling down, you will have the uh, the oldest date, and and when you show up in the document, the first one that will show up is the latest version of the audit, the latest. Um, so you will have in the same document the same like all the Excel, all all the uh, columns and and stuff filled with information, so you can compare audits through time in the same document. And in the same way with the manifesto or the agenda notes, it it's better when the things are in a single place, so people can go back always to the same link rather than Google. Uh, Google which document it was, so what was the name of it, which is always like a tricky part in our uh, process. But yeah, that's my feedback on it. And what do you like? What do you think about this document? Like initially, the idea to have it like all the audits in one place was having this document when every cell, you know, like you have comms, and then you every cell in here is comms, like comms, second audit, third, fourth, and, and go on. Yeah. Yeah. Um oh, sorry, I was not watching the um the, the, the Oh screen. sorry. No, no, it's okay. Um sorry, go ahead. I... Um, actually I like uh, Eduardo's idea to have like this um just one link. If it's gonna be a live document, I think we should use only one link. But instead of um adding the same audit results in the same sheet, uh why don't we use like tabs, you know, like this tab is the latest, and then we rename it uh, with the date on, uh, that we that we, the last time we did the audit. I think oh, it's good to I have, see. yeah. Instead of um, having this uh, different links every time we update it, I think it's just it's good to have just one link, and then just duplicate but, each, uh, duplicate the, the tab, and then update the scores, and then just rename the tab, change the name, the change the title of the tab uh, with the date that the audit was done. 
Yeah, I think on that Excel, for example, that you have open right now, if you just create uh, different tabs or pages for every working group, and everyone just goes to their top. And... Yeah, well, what I'm saying is to, I mean, maybe this is too complicated, um, but to just have like, I think for, for the purpose of external people, it will be nice to have all the audits in different tabs. Uh, like, let's imagine this is audit 2021. So every tab, rather than decision tracking and transparency audits, will be comms, uh, hatch outreach, and so on. So everyone can sort of be aware of the latest audits in the single in a single document, rather than rather than having all of them spread around. And I think transparency wise. It's it's the, it's the easiest one in the sense of having all the things in a single document accessible for everyone. Um, yeah, maybe for some people will be intrusive. But I don't know. That's just my feedback. I I think what uh, Abby was trying to say is like you know for example we have this Hatcher outreach audit and then you have the tabs in here in this document. You know like yeah. and th this for example would be the date so. You can change the, change the name. Uh, yes, the, and, the name. and what I'm saying is that's that's a good way for internal audits for for internally used. But if we want people to see it, like I will have to click on every one singular. Like I have to what you just did. You went from from an Excel to the forum, and from the forum to another Excel. Yeah. Um, and uh, we can have one forum post or uh, yeah and then we can l list all of the audits in just one forum post so they don't have to go to the Excel like uh, I don't know where we can put it maybe in the like the more general general post for that includes all the audits of the working groups so they don't have to go to the Excel sheet So, because it's, I feel like it's kind of, um, uh, I mean, if we want to make it a live document and then we want to put all the working group's audits in just one spreadsheet, it might be messy, you know, if every time they're working, because um, it's easier to navigate with the tabs rather than just one tab. And then every time they update, it takes, uh, it, it's, it takes so much work to copy paste the uh, rows and then you move it down then you add it on the top so and yeah. then it's good to duplicate the tabs rather than um copying pay copy pasting the uh you know the old audit and then moving it down then copy pasting it again on the top of this of the tab so yeah so yeah maybe so, we can so, yeah so we have this already right uh we, we'll have like this uh mm -hmm. forum post where every working group has their own section uh, I think like the initial thought it was, you know, like you have transparency out, but yeah, then you have like the all this on top and that's not good. Yeah, I agree. How do we fix that? Because... Sorry again, what do we fix that? What? For example, um, yeah, initially like the idea was to have, you know, uh, on this tab you have the transparency audit and then you add the second audit, the third audit, but yeah, I, I agree with what you Edu, were saying uh, about having the audit on top, uh, like the 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 lat latest one on top, and then if you scroll down, you go back to the past. But in this way, this is would be like the other would be opposite because you have this audit, and then if you reply in here, you have like the second audit, but and then the third. But yeah, it would be wrong because, you know, like the la latest audit, it's uh, on the bottom. Yeah, but so, I mean, you can, you can sort of, um, I mean, as long as in that forum post, you can just leave it there and not edit it and just place when was the last time it was updated. Like, for example, transparency audit 2001 March, just to say an example, and you just update this link 
And when people click on this link, they could have access to the previous audits if they want. Uh, I mean, they are oh, different. You, you mean editing this post? Oh, I, I think that would be untransparent. You, you mean editing this post and put the new... Oh, wait. Duplicate the old agenda. Then I put that in a tracker also, so people can, and I put it in the calendar, so if people want to see the old agenda, it's still there. Because it will be confusing if we use a different link every time we have to update the audit. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I really prefer to have just one link for the... But, but, but you're talking about the document, right? You're talking about the this. Yep. And have all the audits in here for yes. such an outreach. Yeah. But yeah, m my concern is how do we communicate that? Like, if we go on mm. the forum, you know, because we normally update it on the on the forum. But and though every time we comment on the forum post, it goes, it it goes to the top, right? Like the uh, it goes to the no. latest. I mean, the comment mm. still goes at the bottom, but. Every time we make a comment of forum post, it gets published in the main page. Like uh, there's an update in this uh, post. Yeah, but you mean creating all the audits? Uh, you know, your idea is to having all the audits uh, here, and then you know we will have comps working out it, and then when we have another comps having another tab. Uh, Ah, uh, it's. I don't know. <laughs> hey, Chui, by the way, who are you? Hey, oh, Chui. Um, don't hey, don't get too complicated about this. I mean, you have you have two audiences and two ways to explain it or to put it out. You have one internal audience, which is having everyone else be acknowledged by the community, and you also have be acknowledged by external people in case they want to whatever. So um, this forum post for me is correct. Like this forum uh, classification for me is correct. Um, User-wise, uh, internally for internal use, for example, it's just easy to have one single point of reference rather than having many ways. But you have the forum, you have the Excel sheets. You can either way keep it always and your main focus will be always the forum uh, and, not, and not the spreadsheet because um, People does people doesn't know people doesn't know what is the name of the spreadsheet or how to find it, but they know that in the forum there will be always uh, the the space for the for for the audits. Um, so I don't know. Maybe it gets solved by having like a, on top of this uh, forum post, just having a single um, a single post that includes all the links to the spreadsheet, for example, for all the for all the audits. So in, in instance of sending each link of every post, you just send this generic post with all the, well, you know, you know what I mean? Does it make sense? You just send the link uh, that has uh, the classif the, all, the, uh, all the links to the other ones. Does that make sense to you? I'm, I mean, I'm being a little bit scr scrambling. No, I, th I think I'll get it. But what I'm worried about, if we do that way, then we don't have a space to mutual monitoring on the community. Like, if we have one single post, uh, yeah, like, like then the, 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 the monitoring should be on the, on the Excel sheet, which I think is not the best. Uh, it's my no. personal, you know? Like, having, the, ha having this allows you to, OK, let me update the software audit, and I do not agree with what she's saying. And then I'll just go and type there, hey, Libby, I do not agree with that because of this, this, and this. Or, you know, it's, that, that's the, yeah, the, the reasoning behind having, uh, especially uh, having to, to be them, like their own space to, to, I don't know, like to talk about it. No, what I'm saying is like I, I think it was hidden, but on 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 the forum post of proposals, we had one pin post. It's now taken away, but we had one pin post that had indexed all the proposals. Oh, and we were updating that pin post. Because why? 
I can, if you ask me for proposals, I cannot send you every link of every proposal. So what I will do is that I send you a pin post that has all the links to every audit. So it's a central point. It's not, the, it's not what the working groups will edit. The working group doesn't have to take care about this. They will only edit their own forum post or their own audit. But you need a central point of focus. If it's not a spreadsheet with all the audits, it could be a forum post that is just pin. And that's it. And when people ask you, oh, how are the audits? You just send this link. Yeah, I think it's a national idea. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. And about the periodicity of the of the audit. Um, I think the periodicity of the audits should be attached to the phases that they had that the that the organization is going. So if you are ending a phase like the pre-hatch, there should be an audit. If you are ending the hatch, there should be an audit, and so on. Like um, I yeah. think it, I think it depends on the phases that we are. If we are, um, for example, in a phase that doesn't change much, like from December to Gen to February, we didn't change much. Um, so I will only do. A routinary one every three months if things doesn't change. You know, it depends. I think it's more realistic to adapt the periodicity to the circumstances of the of the project. Yeah, I agree. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then you know, I, and I mean, I imagine like in the future, like working group will be asking for funds. I mean, I would say, I think it would be very bureaucratic to ask for the audit every time you ask for the funds. I, I don't like this idea I'm having. So, yeah, I mean, a periodical audit, yeah, it seems fine. No, I don't know, what, what do you think, Chuy or Ivy? I've personally tried to... Uh, uh, I mean, since since I first tried the the the, the comms audit, and I and I saw that 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 we had kind of a mess, <laughs> uh, I feel that I I I I mean I take it very seriously, and and as you've seen, uh, Septi, like I try to like uh, even like if if okay, so last time I think we got a score of like seventy eight, and. It's like okay, so let's wait for two weeks and then let's uh, uh, do another one. So uh, even though, like m m maybe proposals, I I wouldn't think it's the best idea. Uh, but I like the suggestion of of. I mean, not 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 as it's gonna sound right, but but to have a to have a, the audit be a. Uh, uh, re requirement, right? Or at least uh, like a pre-requirement for uh, for doing something, you know? I mean, uh, to to have it like as a like a more practical use, as if it were like a like a a pass or something for 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 something. Um, I don't know. I, 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 um, may, maybe proposals isn't the best idea, but I would agree on on trying to. Have the audit as a check in some kind of process. Yeah, the, the the problem I see there is like then I feel like the like the 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 goal with the audit is help the community to be more transparent, but do not impose them to be transparent in order to ask for funds. So that's the second part being important. Uh, I you know it's hard. Because if you add this rule of having the audit, you know? Yeah, I know. Like, if you have an open source project and, and then you decide that you don't want to impose an open source mentality or approach to what you are developing, then you're not an open source project. If we are a commons, we are a commons project and the transparency is not imposed. It's taken by, by granted by when someone entered the space. So you're not imposing people out. It's, it's just the same way Send a hub, for example, see someone externally will have said it was imposed to us 
at the end, it was productive for us. So the imposition comes from a honest and for the project uh, uh, aim. So for me, it's not imposed. It, it's just a, a process that it's decided and we can change it, improve it, or, 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 or stop it, using it if we would see that it fails. But um, I think we are not asking anything out of the ordinary. So I will say it's, yes, it's mandatory. It's not about imposing. It's just the nature of what we need to be aligned. Uh, okay, so what if, what if now that we are doing the weekly updates, what if we uh, include some kind of uh, like status for each working group, right? Like transparency temperature or something like this. So if an audit maybe is like outdated, the weekly updates could be a good way to like let the community know, like be transparent about it. But at the same time, like we don't impose it. We're just informing about the transparency status of each working group, like in a more regular way. Uh, does that make more sense? Yeah. Actually, because uh, in our audit, there is uh, this portion where we uh, uh, audit the, uh, the movement of funds. Right, so I think that's what we want to show when we when people request funding. I think that's what what, what we want to show, uh, what, what what we want to look at before we, uh, yeah, we give funds to the working group. Does this uh, does this audit still comes with a score, right, and and with like a, a reference of. Yeah, like like, just like any any kind of score. That score is what we could be using to to uh, put out there. Like the, the same way we're doing with the agendas and and the weekly updates, we could be uh, just putting out there like a temperature check on 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 transparency. I mean, I regardless of like the 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 stage, if it's funding or or whatever it is, like it's. Uh, yeah, it's just like an, an, an idea I would, uh, I would propose. Like if, if transparency is not going to be imposed, at least try to have like better ways to, um, to spread the, like the word about the status on each working group. Yeah, I think it, when it comes to funds, transparency needs to be imposed. Like we are human beings, money always gets tricky. It doesn't matter if it's crypto, it doesn't matter if it's real life or not. So I think it's a good it's a good habit to start having without having the funds management yet. So um, I think this conversation could be escalated in the sense of just talking about proposals for resources or whatever you are asking for proposals, and you need a minimum score of something. And it's not like you cannot propose. Is that it will be uh, best if you just have a better score in your audit in order to. And it's it's simple it's simple common sense. If you have a low audit um, score, it means that at some point in it could be lack of time, it could be whatever it is, but you are not dedicating enough time to something that it's missing out from the audit. And if that sh gets shown in the audit, then it may be shown also in the way you manage funds. So I think this conversation is bigger than transparency in the sense of because it affects other working groups and other processes. But I think it will be nice if if you or we or whoever lay out a kind of proposal for how transparency audits get articulated with uh, proposals or any other thing along the way, so people uh, will have it incorporated in their in their own process. It's, so you won't be you won't be you won't have to be following everyone asking, "Hey, do you finish your audit?" It will be like, "Oh, this month I need to ask for whatever amount of money to my working group." Oh, but my audit, I didn't finish it. So, you know, when you fill the form and the form says, what was your score? And it doesn't allow you to keep going if your score was 50, just to say as an example. So, yeah, I think this could be an interesting uh, way. But, it's my but we don't, actually, we don't have, uh, do we already have a current process for requests, for funds requests for working groups? Because I think we can uh, talk about this again when there is already a 
process because it's just part of the uh, process for fund, uh, requesting funds, right? I mean, right now we can't really decide on it because it's just, it's like, I feel like when we start requesting for resources, uh, transparency is just going to be like a percentage of like a, a whole criteria. I mean, I don't know if it's if we should already be talking about it if there is no current process yet for requesting funds for the working groups. There won't be. I mean, there is not yet. Um, I think there's still that's still something that needs to be clarified. But regardless of that, I think transparency has a nice role to play on just keeping all these processes sort of clear for everyone because there there will be. I don't like. I foresee messiness if we don't have these things clear. And as simply as something as simple as the audit is not something that someone should like think it's it gets offended or angry or mad at it. I think it's not something normal in every organization to have these processes on it incorporated. Yeah, but at the end of the day, I feel we are going to through. I mean, we are going to great to comment that go get governed by conviction voting and i think it you know like uh, i i really uh, align with what you were saying like uh, uh promote it more but at the end of the day you know like if i don't know like if someone creates a voting and three or four members have enough power to make that pass if they don't want to follow the pro i mean yeah we, we could use celeste then yeah, actually, yes. I mean, if it's on the on the covenant, but I, I honestly think it's adding a lot of bureaucracy. And I mean, at the end of the day, it's a decision we have to choose as a community. Uh, and for sure, like a big decision like this should go through forum vote. Because I feel like uh, then you're giving the audit like the, the audit is like when uh, at least at the beginning my point of view was to help the community to be transparent but do not uh yeah again like do not impose them to be transparent if they don't want to be transparent i mean it's their problem it's their fault but the idea is to be proactive and give the tools so if they want to be transparent they yeah they, they be and for me, it's very important not to impose anything on anyone. I really, I really aligned through the freedom of all the members of the community. Not, not all the members of the community, but the whole humanity. I really think uh, everyone should be allowed to do what they want unless they, uh, I mean, unless they do not respect the freedom of other human beings. Then, like, you know, like freedom should be uh, allowed and only be blocked when you know like your freedom is affecting the freedom of someone else yeah that's me i don't um i don't think we are imposing transparency if it's part of the criteria when we get these proposals i actually agree with Edward. i mean it's not really imposing because yeah if there will be voting the community will still decide depending on the score of the working group, on the transparency score of the working group. I mean, if the working group has a low score, it's their choice. To, <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, we, we don't impose them to get a high score in transparency, but we motivate them. But yeah, I don't think it's imposing actually when we include this, if, include the, if we include the transparency score in the criteria for requesting funds. Yeah, I don't think it's, I don't, I mean, I think it's just a matter of, of sort of um, standard and sort of helping everyone get better at things. It's, it's mm -hmm. not, I think it's just, um, we all can become lazy and it's fine. It's not, there is no issue with that. It's just that if you're requesting funds or anything else that affects the community, um, because you are taking money f that will, can go for something else. And if it affects the community, then you should stick to the community sort of standards. And if we have six working groups that have a 90 score, and then your score is 50, and you're expecting to receive the same amount of money that someone who has a 90 score, do you think that's fair? 
I don't think that's fair. And, and it's just a standard of the community, you know, for me. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm afraid of, you know, like if you are going to give more funds to people just because they have their more transparent, I feel that's, I mean, at the same time, I mean, be transparent is cool, don't take me wrong, but... No, 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 no. That, I think that, that that's a confusion. Your your score audit won't allow you to receive more or less funds. It would allow you to send a proposal, or like it will be a starting point to send a proposal, but it won't be a decisive factor on how much you get back. How much you get back is decided maybe by other factors, but it's just a starting point of how much, how good are you as an administrator? Like if I will give you. Um, to to my store to be the manager of my store, I will first put you on the cash machine to see how good are you managing the cash machine, and then I will get you to be manager. It's for me, it's a similar thing. Like the score is just a starting point; it's not a decisive factor, but it's just an exercise that we all need to do. Yeah, well, and it's not yeah, the but, main. It's but, not only the deciding. Sorry, okay. It's not the only deciding factor if you will get funds or not. I'm sure there will be other criteria. So transparency won't be the sole uh, deciding factor if they will get funds or not or how much they're going to get. But what about, I don't know, like, imagine a scenario where someone is, you know, asking for funds to trust this person. He's always showing good results, but as I was saying, he's lazy to do bureaucratic stuff. And that person who we all trust and he works so hard, maybe he don't have the tools or the time to do. I mean, at the end of the day, we are talking about token engineers who, what they really care is about the tools and improve the systems. And maybe this would be a bureaucratic thing that they don't want to do. And but there is, a, there is a cultural build. And it's one of the first thing we do when we onboard someone is to let them know that we have a cultural build that needs to be acknowledged. So they knew that from, and it's, it's fine. You, if you don't do it, look for your course toward or someone in the working group to help you do it. Then you are, you have, you lack communication skills and it will probably reflect that communication skills within your working group and it will be probably reflected in other actions. So I think, I mean, I don't think we can, we won't be able to fit all the scenarios and all the scenarios, there will be many scenarios possible for these kind of situations. My suggestions, because otherwise we will be running around the same, uh, biting our own tail, is that we can lay out a proposal about how this may work, and then we present it to the stewards, or you present it to the stewards, or to whoever, and then we can work around it. Otherwise, we will be like dwelling into the same topic over and over, what is possible and what is possible. And I think the, the, the options are many, and we can just try to narrow the, the most useful and practical one for this time being, and improve it along the way. And it will be fine. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Edu. Especially like, you know, keep working on it and, uh, you know, like, and see how it's evolving during the processes. And, you know, like, maybe, uh, maybe like the cultural build uh, a community decides like, oh, you know, like, yeah, I, I mean, what I was first thinking, it's like, oh, this working group have a red transparency score. And then it would, you know, make the community maybe do not vote for them. But yeah, I, I agree we are we are taking so much time. And don't take me wrong, this is super cool. And I, I would be here for like the whole hour actually, because I feel I really like these discussions when people is, uh, yeah, uh, debating and see such uh, different points of views and make the process the best we can. But there's actually like more topics. Uh, and especially I know Eduardo, you wanna uh, talk about the offboarding document, but if uh, no one don't worry it's for me it's just about um if do we have enough opinions about this topic or do we need like if okay we can keep uh, forget about my document we can keep talking about this do we have enough opinions uh or for example should we, do you want to say something else so if we don't then we can just translate this um uh, conversation into a, a something more concrete yeah i, I agree on that too. so uh, I'm on the agenda and yeah, uh, I, I was asking, uh, writing in here like the, the process like, like we mostly all agree to do and the first one being like central phone forum where we held all the audits. I think that's super cool. Uh, but yeah, feel free to, to write in here and 
Actually, do, do you have a, uh, the agenda, Edu? I'll, I'll, I'll post the link on. I actually send it to you. Uh, so. Thank you. Uh, and Chui. Hi. Drop out by accident. Oh, I, I, yeah, I, I called Chui instead of write to him. Sorry. You race quit. <laughs> you guys are against me. I'm great quitting. <laughs> Sorry, Cynthia, what was that? No, I, I was calling you. I wanted to share with you the agenda so you can okay. put your feedback in, in here. But I, I missed click and I was calling you instead of. <laughs> okay. So. Yeah, so we have like this central point, uh, point to the forum where we held the, all the all the audits. Uh, any other rule you guys think we uh, agreed on this call? And then we, so we can present it somewhere or or work on it. Like the ideally, like also like the questions of the audit might change, like. Yeah, we, we might but need to I, revisit the audit checklist. I really like, yeah, and but I think it should be super important, like you know, having uh, a process where we see how the community, especially when they're asking fans, how the the people is uh, the their their habits, or you know, like see how how people think and act, and then we can you know get better questions to. Uh, yeah, to make people work aligned with the values, mission, vision, and values of the TEC. I would just uh, uh, suggest uh, uh, trying uh, what I said about like the, the the weekly updates. Try to implement like some informative sense of transparency. Uh, Yeah, and we could do that on that post, right? Oh yeah, yeah. We we could do it under the transparency working group um, updates, or we can add like a small bullet to each of the working groups. Um, we can do it like in 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 different ways. Uh, I guess it's also a matter of uh, uh, observation, like see how the weekly updates are being. Uh, are behaving how the community are receiving them and uh, yeah i guess uh it wouldn't be a problem to add a score yeah i agree like it would be like super easy to do the thing uh, i don't i'm not super sure it's about you know like uh let's say like the transparency uh audit it's the same like from like i don't know month two month i don't know when when was the last time we updated that and this you know weekly update Hours would be showing the same. So I would do, uh, you know, like if we do a monthly audit, then we have a monthly update. Uh, you know, then you see the 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 difference. I don't know if you guys agree on that. I'll pass it to Ivy. Sorry that I didn't catch it. Like, you mean uh, the week? What Trey was saying is uh, we need we will include the audit in the weekly updates. Is that right? Not really the audit, but uh, like a, a score or maybe a, yeah, maybe a last date of audit. This and this was the score that it turned out. So even the ones that have a good score they need to just like check like to be in time i mean it's not something imposed i would insist uh it's just a matter of you know just like you check the weekly update and it's like huh this working group uh did pretty good in their last bit but they haven't edited again in two months so just to r like raise that awareness like among the community and also that stewards are more uh 
aware of this, right? Like, okay, so people are watching every week, like, uh, I have information on my audit. So it still gives people the option, you know, like it doesn't like in, in impose it, but it still gives people the option to, uh, uh, to present uh, updated audits. Yeah, I think we can yeah. do that. I mean, um, we I, don't impose on how often they should do the audit, but every time they update their audit or they have a new score, or, yeah, every time they update their audit, and then yeah, we they they can include it in the in the forum updates. Oh, I, I have an idea, and um, maybe that's the same idea that you was was saying. And you know, like, what what if we, you know, like. We say uh, we have all these bullets on the community call, and we see like comms, transparency, like all the working groups, their transparency score, and we also add the date. So if you add the date, what you're making is like, uh, and since we are going to do like the transparency audits like every three months, so people also will know their, uh, yeah, I don't know, like if you like this idea. like. Imagine like the community call and on the transparency slide, we have all the working groups uh, with their transparency score, like the, the dot, like for example, uh, so majority are green or yellow. So we have green, yellow, green, yellow, or whatever. And then for example, we don't have audit for uh, Omega and labs. Uh, so we, we put like, we don't have the audit. So we put, uh, uh, you know, like a symbol that this audit is missing. And then we also add the date when the audit was post. So yeah, we accomplished like two milestones. We are making the, the audit a big thing. So community is aware of what's going on. And, and we are not imposing anything. We're just informing, which is already there. I really like this. The, yeah, I really like this solution, but I, I like it from the right. I, I like I think that's a good idea actually and also I think when you present in the community call like it, maybe you can add it in yeah when you in your presentation the community call like uh, maybe show like a chart of the color of the transparency level of each working group I mean it's one way to communicate it to the community right I mean the community does I mean the work each working group doesn't have to uh to update them but i mean uh we can do our part as a transparency working group to give this update to the community yeah i love it so yeah uh if anyone wants to say something else about this topic or we might jump to the next topic Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Like uh, as you all know, like Hatcher Rich is uh, building this bye bye document because they already reached all their goals. And yeah, uh, I, I think what we could do is uh, give a, a fast read. You re can read it in like five minutes. Uh, and then yeah, we do we brainstorm on it. So uh, yeah, just we uh, read it silent and. For like five, yeah, I think five minutes should be enough. Six, yeah. Uh, and when everyone just say when, when you're ready, just say it, and that's fine. Uh, we, we read it, and then we brainstorm the last ten minutes. Uh, yeah, it's on the agenda. Um, you can suggest if you want.
Yeah, I see we are, uh, yeah, uh, still uh, editing. <laughs> but yeah, we are almost on the on the top of the hour. I don't know if someone wants to give their thoughts on this document. If you guys finished to read it, I personally told you already, Edu. But I think this is this is awesome and it's very well presented. And I really like the the part, especially when closing, having the issues that are open, like giving all. The, I feel it's honestly it's super complete. And it's super transparent, and I feel like uh, it should be a process like all the work working groups should uh, do. Uh, like you know, I think that's a thing we should add to our processes overall. Uh, and yeah, I feel it's a beautiful document. Uh, and I'll pass it to Chui. Thank you, Sepi. I agree a hundred percent. It's also very, uh, I feel uplifting. Like I. It wasn't just informative for me, like, I got excited. I was like, oh, like, this this turned out so cool. Like, I mean, I mean, it, it, it does feel like a, like an objective that has been reached. Uh, and just, like, how it's, like, so broad and it covers a lot. It, uh, uh, yeah, it, it, it made me, it made me feel really good. So, so, uh, yes, I do. I, I, uh, I, I think it's a, it, it's a very full document. Um, I, I would probably add just like uh, I mean, I, I'm probably biased because I'm I'm I'm, I'm working with the the T scouts, but also like like a, like in a more conclusive like tone, like how uh, like what things that were established by this working group are gonna be uh, are gonna continue to be part of like the routine or or. Like how how this working group when it when when it uh, was active is gonna like be noticed in 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 every day. I mean it's pretty obvious. It's just like uh, uh like for for the T scouts. I I I kind of was uh, waiting for it, and I and I I saw that you mentioned. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean pretty much like the 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 only reason uh, T scouts is possible is because of all of the work with, that was done in Hatch Outreach. Um, and those would be my two sets. I pass it to Ivy. Thanks, Chui. Yeah, I also like this document because it's very balanced. It even mentioned it even mentioned uh, what has still need to be what still needs to be done, like the proposal. So I like how transparent it is and how comprehensive it is. So. Yeah, but uh, may uh, one thing I, uh, like what Trui said. Maybe um, for scouts, maybe I would add something here, like because I wasn't very, you know, I wasn't always in the hatch outreach uh, call. So when I saw scouts here, I have no idea what it is. So maybe it's like uh, just a brief, uh, just a one sentence here. What scouts is about, or if it is it a replacement of the hatch outreach working group or yeah so maybe that's only the one thing that i would add here but yeah it, it looks good <laughs> thank you so much i agree um i think it would be nice to sort of uh make clear which parts of this working group are gonna be translated or continue by other working groups um as in the scouts or as in any other name that comes around but yeah i think that uh yeah, great idea, Chui. Thank you for that. Yeah, I mean, we have all the all the GitHub issues. Yeah, I think I also think this idea is super cool. So, do you want to give uh, some other last thoughts, uh, Edu, before we call the we wrap up the call? No, I think that's that's pretty much all. Thank you so much for the feedback. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, guys. It was a very productive call. It's really yeah. like the, the audit Thanks, approach, guys. it was awesome, like, yeah. Okay, see ya. Bye-bye. Right. Thanks, Eddie. Thanks, Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Eddie.